Here's a question, a great question. Why would God write the Torah on our hearts? Think about that. I mean, the Torah is a reference to the laws of God, the commandments of God. Why would he write the law on our hearts? Didn't Jesus come to set us free? I mean, that's what we've been told over and over and over, that Jesus nailed the law to the cross, that he set us free from the law of God, that the law of God is a curse. If that's true, how come he wrote it on our hearts? You see, I believe that most Christians have been ripped off by the lie that the law, that the law of God is not for them. It's a lie. The Spirit of Truth says otherwise. In fact, jump into Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 16 with me. Let me read it for you. It says, concerning the new covenant, it says, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws on their hearts, and on their mind I will write them. This is a reference to the laws of God. God says, I'm going to write the commandments on your heart, and I'm going to put them in your mind. Why would he do that if they're a curse? Well, obviously the reason is they're not a curse. They're a blessing. Intend to bring peace and joy and, and, and deepen our existence as human beings finding purpose and meaning. This is why he's placed his laws deep within us. Now this passage, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 16, is actually a quote from Jeremiah 31, 33. And the word for law in the passage is in fact Torah. And that settles it. In the New Covenant, under the New Covenant, in Messiah, God has taken the Torah and he's written it on our hearts. He's given us the instructions for how to live. Right living is what the Torah is all about. So that we can express the righteousness that we have by faith in Messiah through his commandments. To the Jew first and also to the Gentile. So I want to encourage you today, embrace the Torah. Begin to walk it out by faith through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. It's part of your inheritance. Let me give you a word for you and your family. It's found in Jeremiah 6.16. God says, Thus says the Lord, Stand by the ways and see and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is, and walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. These ancient paths are a reference to the Torah. The Torah is eternal. It existed long before creation. It's the revelation of righteousness, of God himself, of the Messiah. All of the Torah predates our entrance into this world. And he set it aside for us to bless us, to instruct us, to lead us, to guide us. This Torah, these ancient paths, they're for you, for your family. And God says, walk in them, therein lies the blessing. The blessings for you and your family. Give them a blessing. Help them embrace the Torah as a way of life. As a believer in Jesus, it's your inheritance. It's your heritage. Don't let anyone ever rip you off again. When people come and tell you that the Torah is not for you, that the law of God is not for you, just tell them too late. Too late. I've already, already read the New Covenant. And, and quote for them. Prophesy to them what Hebrews chapter 8 and 10 already says, and what Jeremiah the prophet prophesied in Jeremiah 6 and verse 16. Those blessings are for you and your family. Don't let anyone take them from you. So I encourage you, embrace the Torah. Live it and share it. And the blessings of God will come and overtake you and your family, not only now, but in the next generation and the generation following, for as long as our children walk in these ways, we shall be blessed. So, the Torah is yours in Messiah. Have fun. Walk it out by faith through the Spirit of the living God. And thanks for joining me today. If you have a chance, please subscribe to this channel, comment below, and check out our website, graftedin.com.